Okie dokie. Another day, another facet to this project worked on. I spent a good majority of the time today just trying to figure out where I wanted to mount my relay bank. With four relays in a row, I knew that it was going to be kind of tight for space over on the driver's side. I looked for some time at putting it over on the passenger side, but decided after all to go ahead and put it on the driver's side strut tower, basically where the original starter and fan relay are located. I moved those over to where the AC cutout relay and the uh, ASD relay are normally located. Again, spent a ton of time moving things back and forth, but in the end, I think it's going to be well worth it. We're going to minimize the length of wire running places. That's going to minimize our voltage drop and maximize our light output. And I think, honestly, having all the relays over there, it's kind of a semi-factory look. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be really great without going through the trouble of uh, totally converting to a later-style fuse block. So let's look at uh, some of the little tricks I did with these relays. Okay, I'm not sure how well you can see it there, but there's four little clips which hold the stock relay housing, if you will, the black plastic piece that covers the electromagnetic part. There's four little clips to hold this together, but it all pops out as one unit. And since these are all pretty much standard, I should be able to take another uh, cover off of a standard relay, uh, not like the Chrysler specific keyed ones and uh, pop it on here, re-terminate it, and then I'll be able to have uh, you know, all the Bosch style connector relays all in a row. Thanks for helping, dog. I really appreciate it. Oh, look at your fancy wrinkles. All right, we'll see you later. Oh, let's pet you with the relay. Pet the dog. Oh, dog loves relays. Oh, yeah. All right, we got work to do, Terminus. Enough being pet with the relays. Will you just sit there and hold it? Up, up, up. Terminus, stay. Look at that. With the stock relay body switched into a standard style Bosch housing, just in case there are any diodes or if there's any funky amperage ratings on those relays. Frankly, it only took me a few minutes to swap it over, and I thought this is easier than trying to track down a schematic based off of a part number on the internet. So nonetheless, once I was done with those relay bodies themselves, I took apart the relay connectors for the ASD and the AC cutout relay. I cut off the stock terminals, and then I installed the Hella style terminals and put those into two extra uh, relay blocks that I had lying around the house that worked out really well they do key in with the new ones that I got although they're slightly different uh, that will still work out in the end but it did require a slight modification nonetheless I'm now gonna have six relays across uh, right where the original starter and fan relay used to be all six of those relays will link together and be connected to the firewall. I'll have the ASD, the fan relay, the low beams for the outboard headlights, the high beams for the outboard headlights, the high beam only driving lights that are inboard on the car, and then I'll have a separate relay controlling the fog lights. Now I know a lot of people are going to give me some grief about this. It's a lot of extra wiring, a lot of extra relays, really. I could get by, quite frankly, with uh, three of them uh, in, in addition to the other two, so I could easily cut out that one relay for the driving lights. But I really like having the dual uh, 87 terminal uh, relays and I like running those separate wires and then a separate ground at least on each side of the car uh, that way if you hit a deer or anything like that you've got options you can uh, nurse at home if you're in the middle of nowhere you can make it reconfigure things pop out a terminal uh, put it in somewhere else if a relay fails etc you get the point it gives you options uh, as it got dark I kept working uh, I am uh, connecting all these together with a crimp connection this time. I'm not soldering. I decided to just give this a go and then I'll be heat shrink tubing over all that. And as it started to get dark, I decided can't see any longer. Bugs are biting me. Tomorrow I should finally have the actual high low beams in. So it's time to close her down for the night 
and shut up the garage. We should hopefully have another update for you guys tomorrow. Check back soon.